How's everyone doing? Good? Your hands sore? Mine are. Yeah. Hi, Mum. <laughs> we'll get through this. We'll get through this. <laughs> Rowdy MPIDs are over there. Rowdy MPIDs. Um, faculty, fellow students, family and friends. With us in this room here today are the, six, are the embodiment of 68 unique stories. I'm honored to be speaking about and on behalf of the MPID class of 2017, of which I'm a proud member. Our stories became intertwined in this building a short time ago. We came from across the world, 68 men and women from 28 countries across five continents. Since then, we've been put through our paces. The MPID is an intense program in quantitative economics designed to make students into the Marines of development. <laughs> As a result, we've spent countless hours together. We've sweated in windowless rooms, like the computer lab in Taubman, and the library underneath these tiles. We've been drilled in concepts and methods, like growth diagnostics and quasi-concavity. We've also, we've also, Scavenged, um, sorry, we've also learned how to scavenge for free food. <laughs> to run as fast as we can if we ever see Dan Levy at an airport. <laughs> and that apparently I look and sound like I'm straight out of Harry Potter. <laughs> sorry about that. In the process we've changed. We've built strong relationships with each other. We've, uh, we've developed better better friendships with our, our co-founders and our, our staff. And, and we've, uh, sorry, excuse me. Oh yeah, and th th three of us have even brought new life into the world. We'll get through it, Mom, don't worry, we'll get through it. <laughs> but, but while we've changed inside this building, the world outside still has pervasive development problems. Half of the world lives on less than $3 per day. 1.3 billion people live in extreme poverty. Disease, which are preventable, just kill 3 million people each year, over half of which are children. And climate change threatens progress on these issues and others. As we re-enter this world, armed with new skills and experiences, we must ask ourselves the most important question of all. Why? Why are we here? Why did we apply? And why does Fidel keep triggering the fire alarm? <laughs> he, he doesn't, don't worry, Carrie, he doesn't. Please. I'd like to tell you that, just like Harry Potter, I, I searched for these answers by engaging in an epic quest where I spoke to Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall, whom we know as Lant and Carol. <laughs> but in truth, I didn't have to go far. In explaining why he wants to put a man on the moon, the founder of this school, or the, the, the person who this school is named after, John F. Kennedy, said this, we choose to do these things not because they're easy, but because they are hard, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Well, eradicating poverty is hard. Improving health and education is hard. Tackling climate change is hard. As our faculty chair would say, the goal of development is wicked hard. That was my Boston accent. <laughs> and, and fellow MPIDs, that is why we are here. I've had the privilege of studying alongside you in the last two years, and I've never met such an able, passionate, and committed group of people in my entire life. With the best of your energies and skills, you have the ability to tackle these problems head on. You cannot solve them, but you can make a difference. So whether you're moving to Africa to work on education, or to Latin America to work on public financial management, or even staying here in the United States to heal wounds both literal and metaphorical, I know that you can make an important contribution to this world. And whether I'll be visiting you next year, like Pranav and Richard, or all the way in 2049, like Rebecca and Shreya, it will be an honor for me to continue watching your stories unfold 
not just as peers, but as friends. Never say never, always avoid always. Congratulations, and let's be careful out there. <laughs>